Bills and the Titans in Nashville. Who wins it, Randy? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Well, tough. Yeah. The thing, the, the thing that I that I like about this game is is I see the direction that the Cincinnati Bengals are heading, the direction that they're heading into. And I just got a text on my phone, Dad. You cannot go against us, man. Yes. I got family over there in Cincy. <laughs> it's going to be hard for me to against Joe Burrow because I think it's something really brewing in Cincinnati Bengals. It's going to be a tough, tough one. That triple team you showed us with Oak and Joby. Yeah, I think is. they're going to be able. They're going to miss that on defense, but I do believe in Joe Burrow. Give me the Bengals. Look, I believe in the Bengals, too, and that's what makes this game so hard to pick. And when we talk about, well, the Bengals are, they're building something, right? No, they're already there. But so are the Tennessee Titans. And you know what they have? They have the king there. King Henry, he's the difference today. Give me the Titans. I mean, a lot of talk about the return of King Henry, but that defensive front for the Tennessee Titans, if they win, we'll be talking about them tomorrow mm -hmm. in terms of how they got off the, after Burrow. I'm talking Jeffrey Simmons, Harold Landry, okay, Danico Autry, Bud Dupree, all those players right there. The new kids on the block, they're going to get beat up by the bullies on the block, okay? And I'm taking the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned them. This is a tough game to pick because we're saying to ourselves, how can they stop this passing attack of the Cincinnati Bengals? It's the guys you just mentioned, okay? Harold Landry nine sacks he's got to lead the way this is a team that basically struggles protecting the passer this D line has to feast to help out the back seven look I know the Bengals are the more popular team the cooler team with the young kids I think today is all about physicality for Nashville and the Tennessee Titans I think they get the win and I think Joe Burrow throws an interception, which he has not done of lately. Let's get to the Niners and the Packers at Lambeau Field at night. Who wins it? Well, I said for two years in a row, the, the Green Bay Packers have represented. They went to the NFC Championship, possibly third. I think Alan Lazard is the man. Everybody knows about Devontae Adams, but I think what Alan Lazard has done over the last month has been unseen. I'm going to go with the Green Bay Packers. Hey, those weapons on offense of Green Bay are impressive, and one way to keep them off the field is for you to possess the football. How do you do it? You run the football. Last time these two teams met in the playoffs, only eight pass attempts for Garoppolo, 285-yard rushing. Give me the 49ers. Zaria Smith may come back. Jair Alexander may come back. There's a lot of hurt guys. These Packers are healthy, rested, ready to go. I'm going Green Bay. Yeah, I'm going to take Green Bay as well. This is a tough one to call, but I just feel like in those last minutes of the game, Aaron Rodgers is one of those guys that can find a way to get his team, whether they got to get in the end zone in a Hail Mary or they got to get into field goal range. I trust Aaron Rodgers with the ball in his hands, and he showed, what do you need, 37 seconds last time these two yeah. teams played? So I'll take uh, I'll take the Packers in a tight game. You said it's personal for Aaron Rodgers. I'm with you on this one. I think he gets over that mental hurdle today and gets his first playoff win against the hometown team. I'm taking the Packers in this one, riding with Rodgers. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. We will be back with you tomorrow. Special time, noon Eastern till 3. These my <laughs>